Who would want a game on an old, boring, 4K 28 inch monitor like the one behind me right now, when you could game on the massive, beautiful TV you probably already have in your living room? Because they will be revisiting my old video talk about PC gaming on TVs and we're doing a nice 2021 edition of it. We'll be seeing exactly what's changed, doubling down HDR and seeing what it is like to game on a massive 4K TV. So let's just get into it shall we? And we are back with my less than ideal gaming setup here on this little coffee table. First things first, I actually uh, forgot to kind of do last time I made this video <laughs> was turn on HDR. So I kind of turned it on already. Now we're actually using HDR. So first thing I want to do is actually see what kind of games will benefit most from this kind of HDR large display setup. So first things first, let's just need for speed heat. I want to see what it looks like in a racing game. And actually, since we all know that controllers are the best way to play racing games, even on PC, then of course I'll be using one of these. Okay, let's just jump into it. But before we continue, I have this thing to also plug in. Now, if you guys are unfamiliar with this connector, this is an optical audio connector, which is the one that weird spitty thing is on. But because my sound card over here, which you kind of can't see, is also compatible with spitty, what car should we use? Okay, we have to go for the Skyline GTR from Need for Speed Underground 1. Please, that car's my childhood. So let's get our little NVIDIA uh, performance overlay up to see if our FPS differs at all on this TV with HDR and all versus a normal monitor. And honestly, it's about what, 40 FPS? That's kind of what I usually get from this game. Remember, this is running at 4K max settings. So even for my GTX 1080 Ti, that is no easy feat to render. So now let's actually turn on HDR, apply, and see what that looks like. Um, okay, let's just exit out of the game and see if HDR will work then. Honestly, even stuff like the taskbar, that looks so much better with HDR already. It looks so much, well, blacker. That's kind of the point of HDR. And something tells me that, yep, it's still not working. Okay, let, let, let's try to troubleshoot it. Like, I know that this game loves the color purple and all, but it didn't have to take that love so far, you know what I'm saying? Okay, let's try to just turn off HDR. And wow, it looks so much, like, deader now. It looks like the contrast got turned all the way down. And now, let's turn it back on, and hopefully... Hmm, it's really still not liking HDR. Honestly, uh, honestly, it's, okay, yeah, it's barely playable like this. But here's an idea. I wonder if it's interfering with this HDR option by any chance. So let's, so it's like maybe like doubling down on the HDR or something. I don't know. And uh, so the color just gets completely thrown out a window. But okay, how about now we turn on HDR here, then go back here. No. Okay then, let's try another game. Right, let's try Cyberpunk, shall we? Okay, there we go. HDR on 4K near max settings because, yeah, it's a tiny TI and this game is a beast. Uh, continue. Let's go. Also, yeah, I'm, this game I'm not playing on a controller. I'm, 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 get, I'm switching back to keyboard and mouse here. FPS is as low as before, around 25 FPS, which is what I usually play this game at, which is more than enough for a game like this. It actually seems to be a bit lower, but that could also be because we're in a very cramped environment. But look at this with HDR. That's really impressive. And especially when you look up, the shadows. I think the shadows would what what benefit most. That is insane. Okay, okay sorry, uh, sorry, River, for ignoring your mission for a while, but, um, kind of want to just wander around. When you're looking like this, and you can see like darker places in the buildings, it looks so good. I kind of want to try the other HDR mode though, because there's this, this one, and then there's this one. I just kind of want to see what the difference is. Honestly, it looks like there is a bit of a difference, but like if you told me to describe the difference, I would not be able to do it at all. But I actually think I prefer this HDR mode to the other one. Man, on a TV like this, this game is really good looking. 
And I'd love to play this game with ray tracing with RTX 3000 cards are still about as rare as they get, so oh well. Final game I want to try is something a bit more um, competitive. At least a tad. I mean, already on this TV, even this little inner intro slide looks so much nicer. Move the slider until the boxes are the same brightness, so around here. There we go. Cool. It's nice to have a little way to change it for you like that. Oh, wow. Okay, I, I love this, but I hate this. I love this because the contrast and everything from the HDR, but I also hate it because it, it just looks like someone also just toned down the brightness a lot. So honestly, from a competitive point of view, I think that could be, oop, uh, I, could, I, I think that could be really bad because, well, in a game like this, you definitely want a lot of brightness so you can actually see enemies and that they're not just lurking in the shadows. Performance-wise, about on par with what I get on a normal monitor and that DCI explosion. That was glorious, and yeah, I almost didn't even see that there's a bridge missing there. Yeah, the fact that there's all of this HDR and OLED nurses causing such a low brightness can be a bit of a disadvantage. But on the other hand, even just look at my shadow. That is one glorious shadow. And again, something like Cyberpunk, this would look even better with uh, ray tracing. Can I at least like, kill one German, please? Somewhere? Anywhere? Please? I think I see someone there, but honestly, with a TV that size, with me being so cramped on this coffee table, and with the poor brightness, and with my poor eyesight, I honestly can't tell. Like, I think I see shots coming down from there, but I literally can't tell. This is terrible. This is a terrible experience, but again, uh, if you have better eyesight than me and can actually determine what set of pixels there is actually a person, then good for you. I can't, because my eyesight is horrendous. Okay, I give up. So yeah, it is still an absolute sight to behold. With the biggest disadvantage clearly being in more competitive FPS type games like say Battlefield, where you really need to have a good sight on your enemies. So with a whole bunch of like HDR effects getting in the way, not only that, but with everything seeming a lot smaller, seeing how it's being displayed on a much bigger display, enemies can be very hard to spot indeed. Not only that, but clearly in some games like Need for Speed Heat, HDR still doesn't properly work, unfortunately, which is a shame because I would love to play a game with HDR, especially the nighttime races. Oh, they would look absolutely beautiful, but it is still a treat. So if you guys can give it a go, then make sure you do. And also, I'm going to have a video coming out soon about how you can play on your TV without having to drag your PC all the way down to your living room. I'm going to be showing several ways of how you can play completely wirelessly just by streaming over your games. It's going to be a refund video, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. Also, if you found this video helpful in any way, then also highly recommend checking out my Patreon because even one dollar a month goes a long, long way in helping my channel. It allows me to make way, way better videos, so I highly recommend you check it out if you want to see this channel prosper and grow. And also, I'd love to find my Patreon, Scavin Burns, Orion, LKB, Naomi Sushi, Tiffin, Jacobs, and Wolfie. Thank you guys so, so much. Down there, you also can find our Discord server if you want to talk to me or others at this or whatever else, really, along with our Amazon socials links. And that's about it, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.